With August coming up and a brand new batch of PlayStation Plus freebies arriving, in today's video I want to highlight 5 games that I would love to get as PlayStation Plus free titles in the month of August. I think it's more important than ever that we actually vocalize what kind of games that we want because now the precedent has been set from the month of July. If we are upset enough, Sony will call an audible and adjust the game offerings. If you guys don't know, in July we were supposed to get Pro Evolution Soccer 2019, PlayStation gamers went up in arms and Sony called an audible and they changed it to offering Detroit Become Human Deluxe Edition which not only included Detroit Become Human but also Heavy Rain which the majority of people saw as a substantial improvement although there were a lot of people that already owned Detroit and Heavy Rain was offered as a plus title in the past but comparatively speaking to Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 I think the majority of people would say it was a gigantic upgrade. Now more than ever I think we have to be vocal when we're a little bit upset and we've been upset in the past and Sony hasn't done jack however the the backlash in the month of July was so huge that they had to make some changes. But in today's video, I want to highlight five games that I think would be awesome as PlayStation Plus freebies in the month of August. Now, we're not going to get all five of these games. Sony has typically only offered two games a month ever since they eliminated PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 3 games, and that's something completely different to digest as well. Because a lot of those PlayStation Vita games were really good, and they were actually cross-buy with the PlayStation 4. And now with it being limited to just two games, you would think that the PlayStation PlayStation 4 game offerings would be better, but that generally hasn't been the case. But without further ado, let's just go into the five games that I want to get. And kicking things off, you guys know how I'm always like with the PlayStation Plus offerings. I think it's a great way to promote upcoming releases in the month. And Tokyo RPG Factory is putting out Oninaki later in August on August 22nd. However, their prior two games have gone a little bit under the radar, so I think it would be a great idea to offer I Am Setsuna as a freebie. Now, they also did Lost Sphere. I personally think that I Am Setsuna is the better game from a narrative standpoint, and that's really where these JRPGs shine. JRPGs is a genre that really hasn't been showcased on PlayStation Plus, so I'm a little bit skeptical as to whether or not this game is actually going to be offered. Probably not just looking at the track record. Usually they do offer more Western games, but I am Setsuna, if it's not a game that can headline the month of PlayStation Plus, it could be great as a secondary title where some people will check it out, some people will decide to forego it, but it's still offered there and you can still use it as a promotional tool for Oninaki. Again, that's dropping on August 22nd, and that game is looking really good. However, I just don't think enough people are familiar with Tokyo RPG Factory's works, and I Am Setsuna is a game that hasn't been going on sale much, so as a plus game, I think it would be a great promotional tool for that game. And I Am Setsuna is a very good game. Yes, does it have its issues from a gameplay standpoint? Definitely. But its story is so good. A young woman of incredible inner strength and the sacrifice she must make to save the people of her land. It's a very emotional and moving journey, and I think it would be great as a plus game, so I'm hoping for that one. Okay, the next four games, you really can't use these as promotional games, just because there aren't even a lot of options for that in August. However, there are some games that I would love to see as plus offerings. Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection is a game that I really think should have been a plus game a while ago. A lot of people picked up a PlayStation 4 without ever having a PlayStation 3, so while Uncharted is a massive franchise to all of us that have been entrenched in PlayStation for quite a while, there is that subsect of PS4 owners that have never played an Uncharted game, and Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection is awesome. Getting all three of those Uncharted games, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, and those games still hold up rather well. Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 specifically. Uncharted 1 does show its age a little bit, but overall they still have some incredible pacing, solid gameplay, and the story is really good as well. Now, the Nathan Drake collection is actually on sale right now for $15, so it's not like this is a super big investment. However, considering that we are getting to the twilight of the PlayStation 4's life, I imagine we're still in for another solid year or 18 months, but after that we're really going to be moving to the PlayStation 5. Now would be a great time to offer some of these early existing PlayStation 4 exclusives that are so good and Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection definitely acts as one of those. I wouldn't say offer the Last of Us remastered quite yet. I would offer that probably a month or two prior to the release of the Last of Us Part 2 and that's a game people would be all over and that's a game that works really well because so many people did play that on the PlayStation 3. Revisiting that on the PS4 would be great. In the case of Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection these games do see improvements on the PlayStation 4 but it's not substantially you have 60 frames per second visually they're a bit better but really they're just retaining the fundamentals that made them so good unfortunately no multiplayer but still high quality nonetheless and i would love to see that as a plus offering all right next up i think there's been a little bit of a sour taste on tomb raider recently and i think people need to play rise of the tomb raider i think it would be great to see this as a plus 
plus offering, and I do imagine that at some point this will happen for a variety of different reasons. First of all, Square Enix has already offered their Western games on Plus before. Deus Ex Mankind Divided was a PlayStation Plus game a while back, and that did pretty well. People were pretty happy with that. Well, Rise of the Tomb Raider would also be a great offering. Not only is it a tremendous game, but at this point, it is a little bit older. PlayStation 4 gamers were a little bit turned off by the fact that we had to wait a year to play the game on the PS4 versus the Xbox One. The PC version came out like 10 months in advance, so a lot of people didn't even check out Rise of the Tomb Raider when it did release. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was a game that saw a little bit of a lukewarm response, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is a better game than Shadow of the Tomb Raider in my eyes, so this is the game to offer as a plus game. Yes, you've got Tomb Raider the Definitive Edition, but that is a PlayStation 3 game, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is just a significantly better game. It has a good amount of content. The story is rather good. If you compare ROTR's story to SOTR, ROTR without a doubt has the better story. I'm not saying the narrative is going to absolutely hook you and you're going to be engrossed to every second of the game. Not necessarily, however, SOTR's story was a little bit nonsensical at time and Rise of the Tomb Raider doesn't really have that issue. And overall, from a gameplay standpoint, visual standpoint, content standpoint, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a very strong game. And at this point, it is being sold pretty cheap. You see it go on sale for $15 to $20, so why not give it as a plus game? And remind people why Tomb Raider was one of the better franchises of the last half decade ever since that reboot, since SOTR did leave a little bit of a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Okay, next up, I did want to mention a smaller game that unfortunately hasn't gotten a lot of attention over the last year and a half that it's been out, and that is Moonlighter. Moonlighter's a really cool game with an awesome pixel graphics art style. It's an action RPG with roguelite elements that demonstrates two sides of different gameplay style. You play as Will and you reveal his everyday routines as an adventurous shopkeeper that secretly dreams of becoming a hero. So yes, part of the game has you play as this shopkeeper. The other part of the game has you play in this dungeon crawling RPG. It's just a really well designed game. It's definitely not perfect. However, the gameplay style is so unique that I think just inherently it is going to have some interest. Now, if you bought this game day one and you spent, what was it, $20, $25 on it, I could see why you were a little bit disappointed by it because going into the release, there was this clamoring to play the game. However, that kind of dissipated after the release of the game. However, to offer it as a plus title, as a freebie to subscribers, I think people would really enjoy the game. I think they could appreciate the art style. I think they could appreciate the novelty of the game and what it tries to do. And I do think Digital Sun deserves some recognition on this game, especially because they are working on another game called Children of of Morta that's scheduled to come out later in 2019 so why not do a little bit of promotion by offering Moonlighter as a freebie to plus subscribers I think that's a great idea and lastly we haven't gotten a lot of great fighting games as PlayStation Plus games and I think Injustice 2 would be an awesome one I would prefer the Injustice 2 Gold Edition with all of the additional content but if you can just offer the base game whatever the case may be Injustice 2 is a great game and again we haven't seen a lot of high quality fighting games as PlayStation Plus games and Injustice 2 is one of the best of this generation and that's a a lot because this generation has been packed with high quality fighters from Dragon Ball Fighters, the Blaze Blue games, the Mortal Kombat games, Injustice 2 ranks up with the best of them and the great thing about Injustice 2 is for someone like me that is more of a casual fighting game fan, it has a great single player component as well and if you just want to get into some battles here and there and have some fun with some iconic characters it offers that as well. It offers really everything you could want out of a fighting game but also offers a lot of the elements that a casual fighting game fan would want as well or somebody that's not even into fighting games at all it's just got a lot of those elements in one package and i think it would be great as a playstation plus freebie especially at this point because the game is a little bit dated it came out i believe back in 2016 maybe even a little bit earlier than that so a while ago so even just the base game would be great as a playstation plus freebie so that's gonna conclude this video again i feel like i rounded out five games that could act great as playstation plus offerings in the month of august or just any month in general i think in the case of i am setsuna it would be great to have it in august and i think it's more important than ever to actually be voted vocal about the games you want to be plus freebies because you see Sony will actually call audibles if there's a lot of pressure put on them and if come the month of August the game offerings aren't that great well once again you'll see a little bit of a riot online I don't know if they'll call an audible again but let's just hope they don't need to call an audible from the get-go and they can offer great games from the beginning so let us know what games you would like to see as PlayStation plus freebies again keep it realistic I know some of you guys are just gonna comment oh I want Borderlands 3 as a pre-order as the freebie for the month of August that of course is not gonna happen happen try to keep your expectations in line if you're smart about it you're probably paying three dollars and change a month for playstation plus for that kind of money you're not getting borderlands 3 in a single month that's just not gonna happen but nonetheless sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye 
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.